Welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you for watching. Also, forget to subscribe. Well, let's get started. So we are making an octopus salad today. So we have some cilantro. We have some onions. We got some red bell pepper. I have some tomatoes. I have some lemon. I have some coarse sea salt. I have white vinegar. I have um, olive oil, olives, and the star of this movie, which is the octopus. Now we're going to go over the sink. I'm going to teach you how to clean it really good. Okay, first I'm going to start by adding some coarse sea salt to it, which it works really good as a scrubber. Okay, it's almost like washing clothes. <laughs> um, and you could add as much sea salt as you want. As you're going to see, the water start, you know, turning a little bit brown because you are cleaning it pretty good all right and I, I I clean it and I grab every um, little part of this octopus this is the head you turn it inside out and make sure you clean inside and you clean the outside so of course here I'm adding more sea salt and like I said you add as much as you like okay it's to clean the um, the octopus it works as a scrubber all right so here i am turning it usually here is like a, a black ink ball i don't know exactly what they call it but you remove it um it had a little piece left i've removed it i usually like to make a cut in between each leg of the octopus um so when i'm cooking it it I feel that you know it will cook better the water would go through all of it pretty quickly less cooking time I feel so now I am gonna rinse it out until my water is completely cleared and pretty much our octopus is very clean ready for cooking first I'm gonna start by roasting my um, bell pepper. I like to roast it. It gives my salad a nice smoky flavored and also the texture is wonderful. Okay, it gives it a nice little kick. While this is roasting, I also have my octopus cooking. All right, so I boil my water first with some sea salt and garlic powder. And after the water was boiling, I went and immersed the octopus in there. As you could see, the cuts that I made. Now I'm finishing my bell pepper. It should be dark like this. That means it's completely roasted through. Okay. And don't worry about all that black stuff, guys. We are going to clean it. You will see. All right. I'm going to teach you now how to cut the tomato we are removing the seeds from the tomato i don't like adding the seed to it um it makes i feel it makes it more soggy i just want the meat of the tomato which is nice and firm and this is how you do it this is how you remove the seed but it's up to you if you like the seed of the tomato in your salad by all means go ahead and add it to it and just cut it in little bite size, as you can see. Okay. Now I'm cutting my olives, my cilantro, and chopping up my onion. Now I'm, I'm about to clean the um, bell pepper that we roasted. As you can see, I'm removing all that dark skin. And um, I'm doing it like this just to show you, but you, you know, you could do it on the running water. Okay. This is nice. 
I'm telling you, it gives it that that bell pepper when you roast it, add it to that salad, it gives it such a nice flavor. So I decided I also was gonna add some green bell pepper. So I'm just chopping it up in little bite size. And I also add in some crushed oregano. Look how beautiful those colors, beautiful, right? So I like adding some of my uh, olive juice to it. Some white vinegar. A half a lemon. And some olive oil. And guys, with all these liquid ingredients, you add the amount that you like. It's all preference. If you like it more acidic, you add more acidic to it. You like more oil, you add more oil. You play around with the recipe and make it your own. There is no right and wrong here. So this is ready. I'm going to set it aside while we go ahead and clean our octopus. So the octopus is cooked. I cooked this octopus for 35 minutes. And it all depends on the size of your octopus as well, guys. Sometimes you could cook it less time than that. And this one was a pretty big octopus. An octopus strength, as you can see when you cook it. A lot of different countries, they like eating the octopus with the black skin on it. Uh, Puerto Ricans, we usually don't. We usually clean it and just be left with the meat part. But if you like to eat it with the black skin, then all you have to do is just cut your octopus in bite size and add it to your other ingredients. This is nice. And that's pretty much it. We clean it. And look how beautiful those pieces came out after I removed all that black skin. So I just cut it in little bite sides and add it to the rest of my ingredients. And if you could do this, guys, the day before and let it marinate overnight, it, I mean, it sucks in all those juices and just marinate is wonderful. And you could also add shrimps to this salad if you like. You know, it's all preference. And this is it, guys. This is your octopus salad. We usually eat it with totones or mofongo, which I also have the recipe for both of those in my links below. So don't forget to check those out. But this is it. And like I said, you could add all the seafood to it, you know, shrimps and whatever you like, calamari, whatever. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming from my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Until next time, thank you.